You can't deny that Jack Daniels Racing's Rick and Todd Kelly don't take their road trip to Bathurst each year seriously. Not only did they don the safari suits, they also stepped aboard a 70s-styled Nissan Patrol G60, the first motor vehicle to successfully cross the Simpson Desert. It's a relaxed way for the duo and co-drivers Carl Reindler and David Russell to start the week of the biggest motor racing event in the country. For us, it's just a really good way to have a low-key entrance into Bathurst, um, you know, arrive nice and relaxed. It's a very long week here and quite intense from a, a driver's point of view. And, you know, we're, we're relaxed. We, uh, we had a good old trip, went through a little bit of water, a little bit of mud, a few dirt tracks to get here, and uh, that's the way to do it. Driving a piece of Nissan automotive history to Bathurst is a prelude to a milestone event. In an event that's got so much history and, and, and can have a lot of pressure... Uh, to come here and perform. It's really a good lead up to have a little bit of relaxed time with your co-drivers and, uh, and a good trip on the way up. Riding alongside was the latest version of the Patrol, a car that shares the heartbeat of the Altima race car. It would have been quite handy to have the uh, the current Nissan Patrol engine in that old girl there. It would have been a bit of a weapon. But, yeah, the, the new Nissan Patrol has uh, the exact same engine, the same block in the cylinder head as what we run in the race car. So uh, it'll be a pretty big achievement to have all four cars running around the track and hopefully doing some pretty good times with a road car-based engine. The Nissan team is confident heading into this weekend, both with the car and the crew in the pits. The Nissan Altima handles extremely well, mid to high speed, and Bathurst as well has got a lot of that. So there's some positives there for us. And looking at the replay from Sandown, a lot of drivers made a lot of mistakes out there. And uh, for us this weekend, we want to steer clear of the mistakes and try and capitalise on those. And if we do that, we can definitely get a you know a good top 10, top 5 solid result from, from here. Build up to this year's great race will continue ahead of Thursday practice.